And before this match starts, maybe some good sportsmanship. Yeah, maybe that's asking all oh, too much. Oh. That's how you escalate the disrespect. But guys, you know, they should have known better than to take the bait. And one of these two superstars ended up looking like a fool, and we are just getting started. Tensions are high. This match is off to a rocky start after some blows were exchanged before the bell. But now these superstars look ready for even more action. Respect is earned, not just handed out, Cole. There's no reason to expect it right out of the gate. Maybe this match ends with a change of heart. Maybe it doesn't. But you can't just expect things to be all sunshine and rainbows heading into a competitive matchup. Thank you, big. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Here we go. Diving shoulder tackle. And Eric can't stop any offense coming his way. But Eric can't allow this burst to hinder him. Look at this. Oh, oh from the rope. What are we about to soon? Who won the race? Charlie's horse. Every strike more devastating than the last. Corey, it has to be hard for anyone to enter a match against Kurt Angle, knowing what he's capable of. Look, we know Kurt Angle's a world-class athlete, but he's also a world-class hothead. We've seen how that quickness to anger can backfire on Angle. So if you can frustrate him, he'll lose his cool, and the upper hand will be yours. with their head. Oh, one step ahead of Angle. Oh, he knew what was coming. Yeah. Angle switches it up. Look at this. Snap suplex. Is it enough? Two. Pushes through after two. Somehow, some way. Big four on. Dead. What a German suplex. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Paid it right back with a reversal. This is just brute power. What a German suplex. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Tagged with a punch. Meet the barricade. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh. oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. A shot like that to the ego can really shake you up mentally. Enough already. Kurt making it loud and clear for his opponent tonight. Oh, 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 yeah. Nice amateur takedown. All the way over. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Big elbow. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. He manages to escape it. Oh, the back suplex. No! Belly a back penalty kick by Eric. Kurt's in serious danger. He's on the ropes. The official sees it and waves off the pen. Oh, that's a kick that would leave you gasping for air. Got to find a way to get out of this. Oh, God. Face first. Pow, right in the kisser. Didn't see it coming. up in the corner. Exploder suplex. Shoulders down. He kicks out at two. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. <laughs> Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Whip back into the ring. Oh. 
More than just war paint now dripping on the face of Eric. Gotta hurt. In full control here. Face first in the turnbuckle. Boom! What a right gosh. Waistline applied in the corner. Check out this power. Overhead, belly to belly. He's positioning himself, closing in. Look out! Slingshot sent on, yes! Risking it all and able to connect like a homing missile. Oh, uh, stomping away. Kurt setting it up. Angle slam. The pressure's on. Angle delivered there. No amount of scouting can slow down an Olympic hero. Big time attacks coming from Kurt Angle. Kurt's doing a great job remaining engaged with the opposition. It is unbelievable what these athletes have been putting each other through. Absolutely pushing each other beyond any normal human's limits. Nasty stomp to finish it off. Have to head back into the ring now. Yeah, count's running out. Eric able to take a stand there. Could be a chance for him to change the complexion of this match. And he gets delivered back into the ring. He's back in so close to a count out. You do not want to lose that way. Catches the kick into a dragon screw leg whip. Respect get to them. They instead found the focus and drive to get the win here. This is definitely one of those wins that counts as making a statement. You can't just disrespect me and expect to get away with it. It certainly does, Byron, and I can't imagine a more emphatic statement right about now. Offering a handshake, classy move. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> what an ego! And oh, oh, that ego oh. got paid for. They should have known better than to take the bait. Obviously, a total lack of respect between these two. Tension's incredibly high. And now, with things underway, it looks like we'll see if that show of disrespect we just saw has any bearing on the outcome of this one. Respect isn't a prerequisite, Cole. It's not something you have to have for your peers. And it's definitely not something to give out freely. If you want respect in WWE, you have to take it. Never forget that. Oh, look at this here, guys. Look at this. That suplex into a powerball. My goodness. What goes up must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. 
dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Making up speed off the rope. Corey, I have to imagine the key to taking down Piper Niven is the speed advantage, right? Well, it can be, Cole, but you have to remember that Piper has impressive agility herself. So I'd say it's more of a combination of speed and nonstop offense. Don't ever stop coming for her, because otherwise, she'll get her hands on you. She's fighting back. Ah, oh, look at this. Hair pulled net slam. Sent into the corner. Crushed in the corner. Cover. Elevates the shoulder. She still has a lot more in her. Strikes with a kick. All measured up. <laughs> Drop kick to the back. She heads out of the ring, but she needs to pay attention to the ref's count. Right to the kidneys from behind. Oh, double axe handle. And now thrown back into the ring. Ooh, here's a cover. going oh my god what an elbow she's lost some of that energy she had earlier yeah cole but at this point in the match you still haven't lost the edge and piper is failing to offer any resistance here and she's been using speed and non-stop flurries of offense to her advantage here she's got piper niven all out of sorts right now I know what's about to happen. Oh, and a reversal. And Niven is finally changing the tempo with that attack. But Piper has to push now while a window is open. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd. Piper Niven getting ready. Did Niven end it there? Look at this going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Ooh, four. Oh, kick right to the gut. Oh, no. Thinking about the end. Bonsai drop. Niven throwing caution to the wind. Flying. Oh, big impact. Piper now with the upper hand. Piper's at full throttle. And Piper and Niven picks up the win. Here is your winner, Piper Niven. And after the earlier show of disrespect endured, it must be reassuring to have this win under their belt. Now can we stop whining about respect? They won, didn't they? Which is exactly why they deserve respect, Corey.
Oh, WWE Universe, it's time to get the tables. We are about to see some hardware get broken tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Devon Dudley, representing the Dudley Boys from Dudleyville, weighing in at 326 pounds. You know, Street Smarts has a different meaning when you're from Dudleyville. Yeah, it's not like the easy streets of Burke, Virginia. Bubba, Devon, such incredible communication and continuity, it's hard to believe they're only half-brothers. Yeah, the Dudleys have been beating up folks for decades, and they're still going strong. And that is what is that? Uh, Bubba. Bubba, Devon, oh, look, look, quiet, you guys, quiet. did you guys hear that? Shut Saxton, up, Corey. Don't ever do that again. Oh, you're such a snitch. Here comes trouble. The Judgment Day has arrived. One of the most dominant groups in WWE. And his opponent, accompanied by Dominic Mysterio, representing the Judgment Day. From Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. The Judgment Day have become a well-oiled machine of brutality. Yeah, basically, they become of one mind, a singular focus of dominance. A win for one is a win for all, and they all will win tonight. Just look at the Judgment Day, powerful, dominant, and ready to unleash their anger. Expect no mercy, no concern for their opponent's well-being. Well, that's how the Judgment Day conducts their business. They want power at any cost. You know things are going to get a little more extreme tonight with Bubba Ray Dudley in the ring. One half of one of the most decorated tag teams in the business. You don't receive an honor like that without a good mix of skill, power, and ruthlessness. Bubba's lack of concern for the well-being of his opponent might only be outshined by his lack of self-preservation. Yeah, Corey, I have a feeling we're going to see that same extreme champion mentality tonight. But J.D. McDonough is always focused, always in control, and you cannot overlook him. The way this man moves around the ring is like an advanced course in precision. Everyone better take notes. Vicious right forearm. Gets him with the counter. Suplex brings him down. Pulled back into the hip toss. I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Some might see that as a weapon, but a manager is just making sure the area is safe for his client. The aggressiveness of J.D. McDonough has proven difficult for many opponents to overcome. Corey, do you think that's the case in this match tonight? That aggression is McDonough's biggest strength and weakness, Cole. We've seen how he likes to bend the rules, and there's only so much bending before something breaks. If you can frustrate J.D. McDuck, he may lose his cool and leave himself open. Elbow drop. Piercing. And look at this now. Yes. He needs to find an escape prop. Nice. Into a neck breaker. absorbed 
some damage already. Yeah, and this is the hostility McDonough wanted to bring. Oh, man. He is looking to do some serious harm. of counter. Oh man, both feet crashing down. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. Capitalizing on JD's mistake. Going for a power slam, steps down. Countered into an inverted DDT. Cross body. Goes into the pin. Two. No, he punched the shoulder before three. He really thought that was it. Oh my God. A diving moonsault. A calculated attack here against Bubba Ray. McDonough working the competition down. Fortune favors the bold. These risks could be a winning strategy. Needed a gut create separation. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. JD cut open, but we've seen before that the Irish ace doesn't mind at all. Gotta hurt. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Oh, we're going to grind the features off their face. Oh, right across the top row. Vicious right forearm. Good golly, Miss Molly. Vicious reversal with an elbow right to the mush. Ooh, what a punch. That's how you stop your Bubba Ray body here. Bubba could take Cover. this one. And they're still in this. I can't believe that this whole arena's in shock. Yeah, but no one's more shocked than the man who thought he had a pinfall. And it may just take going to the well one more time with that maneuver to gain the pinfall. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, J.D. McDonough. And J.D. McDonough is victorious tonight. J.D. McDonough puts his money where his mouth is and got it done. Operating at a high level just comes naturally to him. Here is the originator of British Strong Style. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dudley, England. Weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. Well, Bates made a real name for himself on both sides of the Atlantic. A founding member of NXT UK and now a fixture in NXT in the US. Now do yourself a favor and look up his NXT UK Championship battles against the likes of Gunther and Butch. Some of the best matches in NXT history. Bate has run the show in every form of NXT, but still has much to prove in all of WWE. It's really difficult to match this man's grappling skills. 
Or his mustache. He's got a beard. It actually has a beard, Byron. Yeah, but the mustache part is amazing. Guys, is it legal to pull facial hair during a match? Mask it for a friend. No doubt about it, we are in for something special tonight. Oh, have mercy. And his opponent, from truth or consequences, New Mexico, weighing in at 287 pounds, Dude Love. Laid back, fun, loving, and confident. This is my favorite form of McFoley. Why am I not surprised? But make no mistake about it, when a brawl starts, Dude Love can fight every bit as hard as Mankind or Cactus Jack. Look at those dance moves. I sure hope that Dude Love is better in the ring than he is on the dance floor. You gotta love seeing Dude Love in action. You just know Mick is having a good time in the ring when he puts on the tie-dye and headband. You're kidding, right, Cole? Dude Love's a complete mockery of our business. You'd think that someone like Foley would have a little more pride and respect after all he's been through. Instead, he's resorting to be a dancing fool. You just can't let anyone have any fun, can you, Corey? And he's face-to-face -face with one of the top superstars to come out of the UK, Tyler B. Bate appreciates and respects the historic British superstars who came before him, but he's doing things his way. That's what a true student of the mat does. They build upon the foundation that was laid before them. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Oh. Oh. I've got to ask, Corey, do you have any insight on how exactly one handles being in the ring with one of Mick Foley's more eccentric personalities in Dude Love? Well, once they've gotten over the shock of seeing a legend like Foley be such a goof, the key is to pick your spots. This is still Mick Foley from the top. Oh, God! The high risk just resulted in a big splat. Boom! One response after another. Back and forth we go. Oh, that might have just broken something. Oh, that hurt to the chest. What are we about to see next? Whiplash neckbreaker! And Bate perhaps tripped up by his inexperience there. And let that serve as a small reminder that Dude Love is still as dangerous as they come. Talk about a close call. Yeah, the referee was dangerously close to making it to 10 right there. Trying to work the arm. Now in control. Ooh, and a shot to the body, and another. Oh my God, this is disgusting. Here he goes for the win. One, two, three, three. Ah, finally, monumental victory. Here is your winner, Dude Love. Tyler Bates suffering a loss here tonight. I guess the big, strong boy just didn't have it in him tonight. He either wasn't big enough or strong enough, or both.
It's fight night! Three men born and bred to throw down. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Brawling Brutes from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Butch! Ridge, Holland, Sheamus, Butch, three men bonded by their love for fighting. Yeah, you could say that again, Cole. These three will fight anyone in the locker room, anyone in the street. Heck, they'll fight each other if they have to. Hey, no matter who fights who, there's one guarantee. It'll be fun to watch. The Brawling Brutes are about to show us all how they earned that name. Ladies and gentlemen, fight night is officially underway. And his opponent from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 178 pounds, the action champion, Supernova 11, Noam Dar! His character issues aside, Byron, you have to respect Noam Dar for what he can do once the bell rings. Oh, there's no denying his skill, but there's also no denying that you simply can't trust the guy. Word is that the champ was actually asking for this to be a title match, but the officials backstage wouldn't allow it. That is how competitive he is. That's the bell, and here we go. Noam Dar set for action, and we all know you have to be on your toes when you're in the ring with him. Dar has redefined himself as an athlete and competitor, has proven he can get it done in all sorts of ways. Vicious strikes, even more vicious technical feats. Dar is cocky, but he's really been able to back it up more and more as of late. You really can't underestimate a talent like Noam Dar. Hopefully, he doesn't mind having his joints manipulated to their physical limits. That's Butch's main focus when he steps into the ring. I have a feeling he does mind. Dislocation and destruction. Those are Butch's main focuses. And he's made that no secret. And Butch fending him off. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Ooh. Draped over the top rope. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Oh, he retaliates. Waist lock, able to counter, look at fighting out. Manages to fight out with a series of punches. Up the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? Boom. Launching. Whoa. Unbelievable athleticism. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show out. Close call, but not enough yet. Get him into the corner. Flying forearm connects. Butch loves to just attack his opponents at full speed, but the key to victory can't be that simple, can it? Butch used to be extremely deliberate in his strategy, Cole, but now he throws himself full force at his opponent. But that old methodical style is still dormant within Butch, so he should use it. Oh, put down face first. Continuing to work on the arm with a... Ooh, what a nasty kick. Insulting. Making a mockery of your opponent could eventually backfire. 
No. Suicide dive. Unbelievable athleticism. Just going for it all and landing a direct hit. And that was an effective attack, guys. No, I'm Dar with the upper hand. Yeah, Dar's showing no mercy out there. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. And Noam is countered. At last, Butch keeping that string of offense in check. Brief sign of adrenaline from Butch. That might take some of the fight out of Noam. Butch offered no room for safety with that attack. Come on! No one likes a count out. He climbs back into the ring just in time. That was getting close. Vicious clothesline delivered by this superstar. A second clothesline. Ducking out of the way. And going to That could be it. Almost two and a half. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. From behind. Chop block. And Butch fending him off. Big clothesline. line. I think we are witnessing a career moment for these superstars, guys. But the spoils will only go to the victor. And I have a feeling we're close to finding out exactly who that will be. to the lower back, clutching the wrist. Just absolutely punishing their opponent here, relentlessly. Noam Dar is just getting knocked around. Butch dictating the pace here. Butch looking for it, there it is, the bitter end. Butch has all but ended this. And the rope will force a break. Both arms captured, and vitriolic stomps. The stomp in every single part of his body. This match has been history in the making. This is insane! Butch is asserting some dominance now. Dar's defensive instincts need to kick in. Ah, oh, spinning back elbow caught him. Noam Dar channeling every ounce of attitude with that offense. Man, that was such a long and hard-fought match. He earned that victory. Here is your winner, Supernova 11, Noam Dar. And Butch has to take the loss here tonight. Everybody in the locker room better watch out because there's no way Butch doesn't react to this loss like the Tasmanian Devil. Big time trash talking here. The official gonna ring the bell and we're underway. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness! The official's been laid out. I mean, it's blatantly obvious. The superstar didn't do it intentionally, but the official's down and now anything truly can happen. Yeah, there's no official out here to keep the order. 
Can we get some help for our official? Is that an official start? The referee was able to start the match, so we are proceeding with this match. Yeah, guys, there is no way that doesn't play a part in this one. Saxton, in this business, you got to keep your head on a swivel, no matter who you are. That was just a quick reminder. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Continuing to attack the neck. Draped over the top rope. Ah, oh, sit out, Matt Slam. Oh. Drop kick hits hard, lands harder. Taking this to the floor. Kick right to the gut. Joe looking unfocused after that blow. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Oh, bruising attack to the stomach. Finn just adding salt to the wound right now. circles around anybody. It's why he prefers it when matches go long. As long as Balor doesn't give his opponent too much breathing room, he'll be able to adjust on the fly. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. STO! With the stomp. Shoulders down. And Joe saw it coming. Punishing the shoulder. Balor possibly being reminded there that it will take a lot more to dismantle his opponent. Oh, Balor with the counter. <laughs> Knife edge chop. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. And he goes for the pin. A kick out before three. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Uh-oh. Goes low to sweep them right off their feet. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. He's able to sidestep there. Coffee connects with a Glasgow set. And here's a cover. Finn Balor finds a way to stay in this. Wow. Uh-oh. Watch out. Oh, shoulder first. Hey, the ring just shifted. Just ruthless. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? Basement drop kick. Connecting with a sharp elbow. He can't take any more of this. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. He's going for it all. Take off. Rough landing. Dodged right off center. Again. Joe can sense victory. Cover. Two. He kicks out somehow. It not only takes strength to kick out there, it takes willpower. And Balor is showing that in spades. That was the best weapon in the arsenal. But it wasn't enough to produce an end result. And Joe saw it coming. What reflexes to stop Joe Coffey? Turned that one around. Oh, my goodness. 
Vince, what an impactful FTO. Fan looking to put him away. Ooh, 1916. Joe Coffey on his last breath. It's over, and Finn Balor is your winner. Here is your winner, Finn Balor. I don't see how you can't be disappointed in winning like this. Look, sometimes you do what you have to do to win, and in this case, it paid off. I have no idea how you can call what they did winning. More like surviving. And considering what they did to survive, I don't see it as very fulfilling. When surviving means you get your arm raised at the end, that means you won, Cole. Sorry it wasn't fulfilling enough for you. Well, we got to decide which one of these men will start the match for their respective teams. Yeah, it doesn't look like things are going too well, does it? Well, a few hiccups early on, but there's the bell, and here we go. Well, some dissension in the ranks here, and uh, I can't say I'm surprised. Listen, I'm confident that both these teams will be on the same page. Bell sounds, and let's see if any sort of begrudging respect comes out of this one after the display we just saw. Mind games are definitely at play here, gentlemen. Getting into your opponent's head, making them question every step and move they make, that... Uh-oh, he could be looking for a submission. Oh, he gets out. Perhaps some renewed life in him now. There he goes, right into the corner. Oh, this superstar has no problem breaking the rules, taking things way too far. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. Brought down with the bulldog. Boom! Boom. Boom. Counter! And now there's an opening. with an elbow. Able to parry that one. Wait, what? Is that a bite? Pretty savage and gross way to go after someone. Hoist it up. Snap suplex. Cactus absorbed a lot of pain on that one by the looks of it. Yeah, he might want to tag out just to have the fresher teammate in right now. Not that he can't fend for himself right now. Here he comes off the tag. Placing them into the corner. He could pin his opponent right here. Just kicks out. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Ooh, knee right to the spine. Make your legs go numb. Oh, Cactus answers back. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Textbook. Fist drop. Attack right to the sternum. It's a rather crude facial reconstruction. That's not very nice. Face gouge. Oh, God. It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. Seth Rollins just getting dismantled. Jack cannot be stopped right now. Oof. 
Back this Jack. Oh, no. Makes the cover. Kick out just in time. Close call. That was almost lights out. And he sends him into the corner. Oh, Jack caught by the counter. And Seth is finally able to mount some resistance with that. Prime opportunity now for him to get some separation and gather himself. That's not right. Cactus Jack's capturing the momentum now. Rollins has to devise a new plan. He reverses it. And wow, turn your eyes away. Jack's face is a red mess. Tornado snap suplex. He could pin his opponent right here. And there's the save. Up oh, and back it in. Oof, knee drop connects. Jack is Jack. Has him hooked. Stop. Jack might have this wrapped up. The cover. And a kick out. No one saw that coming. Seth freaking Rollins with a close freaking call. I don't know how he survived that. And you got to think that all the plans are out the window after that. Just like that, Rollins dodges. Delivers the knee. Well scouted reversal there. Kick to the gut. Cracked around into a neck breaker. Hoist it up. Oh, impact to the stomach. getting rocked with that bit of offense. Yeah, Ricochet making that move look easy. Oh. Stretching and tearing at all the ligaments in the leg. Oh, he's looking to completely render this leg useless. Oh, damage to the hamstrings. Tagged in. Look at this. Snap suplex. Position here. Just tossed. She get here's the cover for the win. An ineffective pin. What is it gonna take to put him away? This is outright disrespectful. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. Repositioning their opponent. Set hard into the corner. Face Buster. He's looking a little weird. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Gotta hurt. Uh-oh. Cactus on the receiving end. Continuing to attack the neck across the top rope. With authority. He gets tagged in. Familiar territory for Ricochet. Oh my God! Sense that 
fatigue is starting to become a factor at this point. Make no illusions of it. This is coming down to a battle of attrition. The tag, and here comes Seth Rollins. Uh-oh. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. Ooh, dropped right on their face. Jumping knee drop. So precise. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Rollins unleashed his athleticism there. Oh, this will rearrange your face in a hurry. Boom! Rollins with an homage to the game. Hit him ring. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And he stops the count for his partner. Ooh, what a moonsault. Ricochet has to find a grip on this match. A messianic display of offense from Rollins. He turns it around. He might be able to start mounting something here. But Ricochet has to push now while there's an opening. And painful. And this has quickly become a match to be remembered. A classic in the making. How in the world is it going to end? Vicious right forearm. And set right into the corner. Double backstabber. Ouch. He's expressing pain now. Might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. Yeah, all the architect's designs seem to be going astray. Got to figure out a new plan quick. Got the tag. Got the tag. Got out of that position with the desperation jawbreaker. Down into a choke slam. Cactus Jack looks like a sitting duck right now. Mark Harvey in control, crowning blow. Cactus with a cause for alarm. Is it enough? The cover! The WWE Universe can't believe what these Warriors are doing to one another. Everyone's fired up. What a battle! Oh, target in the arm. This has got to hurt. Gets the tag. Interesting. There's the driver. Looking for the victory. There's two. And picks up a monumental victory. Here are your winners. The team of Cactus Jack and Ricochet. You have to be feeling absolutely gutted losing after going through a dispute like that. Yes, Saxon, I can't imagine what that feels like right now. You got to wonder if it's possible to get back on the horse after that. This loss is only going to exacerbate their disagreement from earlier. Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy.
The following is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, weighing in at 217 pounds, the welterweight champion, Dean Boss Tank. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. It's this simple for the champ. Win no matter what the stakes are. WWE. And his partner from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the international world heavyweight champion, the Something tells me the countdown to Claymore has already begun. Here comes the architect, Seth Rollins, the self-proclaimed future of WWE. Ready to go and do exactly what he does best. And representing the authority from Davenport, Iowa, Weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins. Back in 2012, Seth Rollins won a tournament to be crowned the first ever NXT champion. And Corey, ever since that day, Seth Rollins has gone on to make history. Rollins has never looked back. Seth Rollins defining a generation of WWE superstars that started their careers here at NXT. Sometimes it can be hard to tell just how good Seth Rollins really is. But he really is capable in the ring. We've seen that before and we'll no doubt see that tonight. Well, I'd say he's more than capable. Rollins believes he's on a whole other level. And it's hard to argue against that. One of the most prolific competitors in WWE history. Without question, a man who's exhibited over 25 years of dominance 
in sports entertainment. And that dominance will continue before our very eyes tonight. And representing the authority from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the game, Triple H. We are moments away from a true exhibition of authority. In the ring, he commands respect. He's a technical mastermind. Triple H has seen it all. Triple H has done it all. And much like his nickname says, Triple H is always at the top of his game. Now the intimidation and mind games have already begun for Triple H. Because the moment the music hits, Triple H begins to defend his kingdom. Well, that's because Triple H looks at every competitor as a threat to his crown. We are about to see a battle here tonight. The WWE Tag Team Division is more competitive than ever. As these two teams get into it, I can almost guarantee this match will be one to remember. The standards for tag team action just keep getting higher and higher around here. Placed in the corner. Solely focused on Ooh. being hobbled like that. Something to keep an eye on. Stiff kick. Tag is made. Counters. Oh, there's some gouging going on. Oh, that's unnecessary. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. DDT. Oh, that's just insulting. But this could also light a fire under you. Make you fight even harder. Oh, McIntyre holding him at bay. What a gut wrench powerbomb. That was a powerbomb with one message in mind. Absolute destruction. And a series of vicious stops. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. And will this be it? Getting the shoulder up before two. Got to change something up with the pin technique. Uh-oh. Raw is just a step too slow. Tag made. Tag made. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Neck breaker. Ouch. Well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. And the manager is searching under the ring. She could only be looking for something nefarious down there. Registered. All the way up and around the world. Crucifix head scissor. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Oh, targeting the arm. 
this has got to hurt. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. Across the top rope, prime example of working smarter, not harder. That's what I say. Suplex! He's got him down. Is this it? Uh-oh, position in. Measuring. Oh, knee drop. Woo! Delivering nasty stops. You want to control the tempo. You want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. And a sit-out powerbomb. Thunderous impact. And Triple H's opposition showing some... Oh, watch this. Springboard! Whoa! Good God! That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. <laughs> oh, my goodness! Are you kidding me? Took a gamble once, took a gamble again, and hit the jackpot twice. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Ah, oh, face first off the post. He's testing fate here in danger of a countout. Really pushing the limit there. As long as you're aware, use as much of the rest count as you want. And some effective offense with that one. The legs are a base that you do not want to lose. Chopping down the tree at the base here. Down, brutal. Triple H and the cover for the win. This is it. making their case for one of the best teams around with that win. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice.